so I would like to quickly go through some of the basics of scientific notation. One of the first things we need to know is how to write some big numbers. So let's look at 1,000, which isn't all that big, but we can write much simpler. So 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10. And if we notice that that's multiplying the same base three times, we could write that using our exponent properties as 10 cubed. Okay. So the next one is 10,000. So that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or write 1,000 times another 10. This time we have four tens, and you might notice that there are four zeros over here. And so I know you've got the pattern, so 100,000 would be 10 to the exactly fifth. So with that as a basis, let's take a look at rewriting 30,000 in scientific notation. So first off, 30,000 is the same thing as three times 10,000, but 10,000 is the same thing as 10 to the fourth. So in scientific notation, 30,000 is the same thing as 3 times 10 to the fourth. Okay. Now there's another method that I typically use. I don't, I personally don't think of it this way. I just do a swoop method. So what I do is I take my pen and I put it where the decimal currently lives and then I swoop until I get a number that's between 1 and 10, not including 10. So it has to be 1 or bigger, but not up to 10. So for this one, I would swoop 1, 2, 3, 4 places till I got to 3. 3 is between 1 and 10. I swooped 4 places, and that's the power that goes on the 10. So let's look at 72,000. So I'm going to say that's 7.2, let's do the old way, 7.2 times, oh, well that's 10,000 again. I have 7.2 ten thousands. So let's make sure it works with our swoop method. One, two, three, four swoops. So that would be 7.2 times 10 to the fourth. Let's take a look at two practice questions. Let's write 5,300 in scientific notation. So remember we have to stop when we get to a number between 1 and 10. So you might even just write down, knowing what you're headed toward, write 5.3 is the number that we can get to between 1 and 10. So it'll be 5.3 times 10 to a power, and we just have to figure out what that power is. So using our swoop method, here's where we start, and we swoop one, two, three swoops. 5.3 times 10 cubed is how we write that in scientific notation. Okay. Going the other way, 2.72 times 10 to the fifth. So this is like, right, 2.72 times 10 to the fifth would be, right, 10, five times, which is obnoxious, or we can do the swoop method. Okay. So to go right from decimal notation to scientific notation, we swooped left to get how many tens there were. So to go the other way, when I know how many tens and I need to get to decimal form, I swoop right. So starting here, I'm going to swoop one, two, uh oh, I'm out of numbers, so I'm just going to make little wells. One, two, three, four, five. Because right, I had 10 to the fifth, and then each of those wells gets filled in with a zero. And then I'll read write it looking nice. So it looks like 272,000. In decimal form, in scientific notation. Okay? So that's for big numbers numbers bigger than one. For numbers less than one, I really use the swoop method. So one over 100 as a decimal. One one hundredth right, is point zero one. But in scientific notation, this is a little bit harder to see and you can kind of get there if you know your exponent properties. You could think of this as 
1 over 10 squared. Well, let's think of it that way. 1 over 10 squared, right? 100 is 10 squared, but negative exponents, if I write that without a fraction, bring this up to the top, I have to change its sign. So that's 10 to the negative 2. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's try this one. So 1 over 1,000, 1,000 is 10 cubed. So as a power of 10, so bring this guy up. When it moves across, we change its sign. 10 to the negative 3 is how we write 1 over 1,000. So let's do two examples. So 0 0.03, right, that's 3 one hundredths, 3 times 1 over 100, which, right, 1 over 100 is 10 to the negative 2, 3 times 10 to the negative 2. Let me show you the swoop method on these. So put your pen where it is. Now I have a number less than 1, okay, so my exponent is negative. When the ne decimal version is less than 1, your power of 10 is a negative number. Okay. So start where it is, start where the decimal currently is, and swoop till you get to a number between 1 and 10. So there's 1, 2 swoops, so negative 2 is my power of 10. So here, right, 0 0.00066, the number between 1 and 10 is 6.6. .6. Now I have to come up with the power, right, that goes on my 10. So swooping, starting here, will swoop 1, 2, 3, 4 swoops times 10 to the negative 4. This is the scientific notation version. Okay. So let's practice. 0 0.0091, write it in scientific notation. So the number between 1 and 10 will be 9.1 times 10 to the, let's find its exponent. Start, swoop 1, 2, 3, 3 to the right. It's a small number, less than 1, so my exponent's negative. And then it goes reverse, right? When I go from scientific to decimal, 4.33, now I need to swoop, right, to get this 10 to the negative 4 part. So I need to get to a small number. So I put my pen where the decimal currently is, and I'm going to swoop 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 0, and then rewrite it nicely, Point one, two, three, four, three, three. So you might notice a pattern there. When we have numbers less than 1, it's one fewer of those zeros that go in front. When it was numbers bigger than 1, right, on our first page, whatever the power of the 10 was, that's how many zeros we have. Right, whatever the power of, well, I guess there we had an extra decimal. So we don't, it doesn't always work. If that first one is just a single number, then it does. We can just count zeros. Okay. How can we use this for doing calculations? Sometimes it can make our lives a little bit easier. So this first one is all set up written in scientific notation. So I have 3 times 10 to the 6th times 2 times 10 to the 3rd. So when we multiply, Remember, order doesn't matter. Everybody's multiplying inside there. So if I just actually write the multiplication symbols as x's, just to overemphasize, I'm going to switch everybody around. So 3 times 2 first, times 10 to the 6th, times 10 to the 3rd. Multiply these two together first is 6. Now I'll multiply my powers of 10. I'm multiplying power like bases. Add the exponents, 6 times 10 to the 9th. If you look at this next question, well, that looks kind of obnoxious to type into a calculator because you don't want to make a mistake on how many zeros you're typing. Most calculators don't provide you with commas. So if we first convert that to scientific notation, so the 5, 5 times 10 to the 
it's a big number. I'll have a number here bigger than one, right, positive. So I'm going to swoop one, two, three, four, five, six, five times 10 to the sixth times over here, right, seven times 10 to the, it's a number less than one, so it'll be negative, one, two, three. Switch up your orders. Five times seven times 10 to the sixth times 10 to the negative three. These guys are 35. These two multiplying like bases will add the exponents. Six plus a negative three will be three. Okay, so 35 times 10 to the third, which is pretty good, but not in scientific notation. So let's say our teacher really wants our final answer to be in scientific notation. Let's see how we go from here to there. So 35 is 3.5 times 10 to the first. So that's just my 35 times 10 to the third. Oh, I'm going to have to squeak this in here. So that's 3.5 times. Now I have like bases again, add the powers, 10 to the fourth. Final answer right there. Big smiley face for that one. Okay, let's take a look at my last example. And it's already written in scientific notation. So we will just move all our numbers to the front. It will be four times five over eight times. Now all my powers of 10, 10 cubed times 10 squared over 10 to the negative three. Careful, those don't cancel, right? Multiply like bases, add the powers. This one down here that's negative, you can pop it up to the top and change its sign. That might be the easiest. So let's see. Um, let's do this guy here first and get that done with. Four cancels the eight, leaves behind a two. Five halves is 2.5. So that's going to be my numeric part. Now let's get my power of 10 part. So let's see. Let's think of this as um, 10 cubed times 10 squared times. I'm going to bring this 10 to the negative 3 up, make it 10 to the positive 3. Now I have like bases, three of them. I'll add their powers times 10 to the 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 3 is 8. All right, 